Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I want to test an old guitar myth, um, and that is about trend blocks, and whether they uh, add to sustain or whatever, tone, whatever. Uh, this guitar here, which is my Harley Benton kit guitar, you can see a video of me making that up here, Ding! has a tremendously thin trem block. Um, I've gigged this guitar uh, on several occasions now, and it's been fantastic. Love it. Um, you can also see videos of that here. Um, as opposed to this guitar, which has a big, chunky block in it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use the same guitar. We're going to use this guitar, and I'm going to do some blind tests. So I'm going to play some stuff to a backing track on this guitar, one track will be with the thin block, one track will be with the fat block, and then we'll do some clean guitar and some chords and hold some notes and all that kind of thing, and see if you can decide, or if you can tell, the difference between the fat block and the thin block. Personally, I think it's a load of rubbish, but we will find out at the end of this video if I'm wrong. So here's clean. And now with some gain.
All right, so that was the first guitar. I'm not going to tell you which block was in that. Um, what we're looking for here is sustain, uh, a difference in tone, that kind of thing. So I'm just trying to hold notes and play chords and all that stuff. So you may hear the difference. You may not. Thank you. 
See, what I thought was a load of rubbish actually isn't. Damn it, I hate it when I'm wrong. <laughs> no. Um, but what did you think? Did you guess right? Um, could you tell the difference? A little bit difficult in these situations sometimes to put it across. But for the, the main part for me is the guitar feels completely different just by changing that block. Now, I had to loosen these springs off quite a bit. Um, which gives the whole thing less tension so the strings are nicer to bend and it just feels smoother um i can't i can't dive bomb it as much as i used to be able to because it, it pretty much fills up the cavity but i can get a little bit of dive out of it but i could router the cavity out but i can it's enough to do some of the things i want to do but if i want to get a bit more clearance on there i could router out the the cavity bit, but yes, my opinion is a bigger tone block is a vast improvement on this guitar, and I love this guitar anyway. And now it's it's like a monster. Anyway, if you like these kind of videos, then please do like, comment, and subscribe. Helps me out in a big way. If you want to help me out even more, then head over to my Patreon page and you can donate or you can donate some more and get some uh, extra content uh, in the form of guitar tutorials. Anyway, peace. Till next time.